Morning. I've come out to the woods because I want to tell you about a new electric vehicle that's coming out that could allow me to be out here without needing to bring all of this. You see, there's a company called Rivian that's starting deliveries of its R1T, an all-electric pickup that you can get with 400 miles of range and a tent and a flashlight and a first aid kit, and you can even get it with a kitchen sink. It's aimed at folks who enjoy being outdoors, like me. But it's not the kitchen sink that's causing a stir. You see, Rivian has received over $10 billion in funding since 2019, and a lot of that has come from Amazon. That's why we saw Bezos driving one on the way to his space launch. And now, Rivian has filed for an IPO. While the company hasn't disclosed the size or price range of its public offering, it's expected to be tens of billions of dollars. To put that into context, the company could have a higher valuation than industry leader Ford, even though Rivian is only around a decade old and is only just starting to deliver vehicles. So what's driving that huge valuation, and could anything obstruct Rivian's plans? Well, pull up a chair, I'll explain. A big part of Rivian's high valuation is that its EVs are primarily aimed at a hugely popular segment of the auto market. Pickups. Pickups made up a fifth of US auto sales in 2020, with Ford's F-Series often being the most popular. And now, those pickups are going electric. What's more, a new breed of automakers like Tesla and Lordstown have also developed EV pickups. Tesla says its Cybertruck will have a maximum range of around 500 miles, and is expected to cost $70,000. Doesn't look like anything else. Following the Tesla playbook, Rivian plans on selling direct to consumers, and not through dealerships like Ford does. Ford is releasing its electric F-150 Lightning, which the company says will have a max range of 300 miles and cost just shy of $50,000. And Biden seems to be a fan. This sucker's quick. But most of Rivian's competitors won't be releasing vehicles till next year. And while Rivian might not be able to deliver huge volumes this year, its R1T is still set to arrive before its bigger, older rivals, and that could sway some early adopters and give them a seat at the table. Another thing that's exciting investors, Rivian has major backing from Amazon, who have injected millions into the company. And it's placed a big order with Rivian, not for those R1Ts, but instead for... 100,000 electric delivery vans. The investment is part of Amazon's plans to invest in transportation as it tries to eliminate its carbon footprint before 2040. But it's not all smooth terrain ahead for Rivian. While the company could deliver its trucks ahead of many of its rivals, it too has been impacted by supply chain delays and the global chip shortage. In July, it announced it was pushing deliveries back to September. And then there's the issue of where Rivians will be used. Because Rivian don't just want you to go to the hardware store, they want you to come out here, to the wild. But if an internal combustion engine ran out of fuel here, I could easily hike to the nearest gas station, get some gasoline and bring some back. You can't really do that with electricity. To get around this, Rivian says it's building its own charging network, some of which will be in US national parks, with 3,500 fast chargers at 600 sites by 2023. But it's yet to be seen if people who are trying to unplug for the weekend will also be willing to plug in, let alone whether it will appeal to the traditional pickup market. So can Rivian live up to the hype? Well, there were 3 million pickups sold in 2020. So even if Rivian captures a small part of that market, it's still enough to keep traditional automakers on their toes. Hey, if you're into EVs, then we've got a great new video on GM's new Cadillac. I've left the link below. And if you want to know more about the future of how we might be getting from A to B, then don't forget to subscribe. Catch you later.